uh, the atrocities are barbaric and out of place and we condemn them fully. Um, it is something that should never happen to another person, uh, whatever the, the actions that underlie um, his, his own conduct. So number two, we also commend the investigations department and uh, the office of the director of public prosecution. Um, when this matter came, we saw they took action uh, timely and people have been charged, some of them. We also listened to the police say that uh, other people shall be investigated and shall be brought uh, before book. We want to say that at this time, this is when cases are lost and therefore it is important that they do thorough investigations. Uh, I don't think they should rush. They should do thorough and clear investigations and make up their mind on charging whoever without uh, um, considering whether they, high, they are high in government or low. And therefore, there should not be any form of discrimination on people who met it, the, the atrocities against this gentleman. Number three, investigations should continue um, and should be very tangent. They should continue to all persons of interest and planners of this act um, because then you will have to read the intentions besides the act that we, we have been told about, but the intentions that formed and the work that went behind it. Uh, because at the cost we've had this problem of uh, abduction and killing um, and we've called it out time and time again and it is time we, we, we end it. Um, we also want to say firmly as civil society that we have considered that they are likely to be public officers um, uh, that will be charged. Um, their rights should be protected but they should step down until the prosecution process is complete. They need to step down so that uh, they are not accused of having interfered with investigations. And two, stepping down is a matter of law. Um, people in public services, uh, pursuant to Article 75 of the Constitution and Article 300, 232 of the Constitution, read together with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Act, have a higher duty of, uh, of uh, the conduct that they betray because that conduct should reflect in the, in the way the offices um, are seen within the constitution. Uh, it is important that the victim, apart from the witness protection that will protect the witnesses, it is important that they get an advocate to watch brief in follow-up of this matter, keenly, so that we get to know the, the actual thing that happened. Because the, it, the public is owed that truth of, of what happened. So that is one. Number two, we as the Coast Civil Society Network, um, uh, we are in agreement that we are going to write to the National Cohesion and Integration Commission to follow up on uh, the conduct of politicians that uh, uh, engage bloggers and what the, the details they give those bloggers so that it must not be abusive and be seen like an act of a third party. Um, there must be a link and uh, we also want to request that, uh, especially if bloggers are uh, registered and uh, the media fraternity, the informal media fraternity, that they also check the conduct of their peers uh, uh, so that uh, such conduct is above board. Um, there are a lot of facts out there that can, people can engage on and uh, it must not be smeared to lower the dignity of the public of Kenya and offices of the public within the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. Sasa wale vijana walo nitukua ishirini wakawa wengine watatu wako huku wameziba, watatu wako huku na five wame nizuia pale wame ni wananguvu wame nishika, nimefurukuta lakini wapi huko akilipiga ikawa pale kando kuna vijana wawili wamevaa mask 
au vijana ni wale kuna hizi gari za kubeba uchafu hizi za Mombasa county za kubeba uchafu wale vijana wenye kupaki yale magunia wale ma street boys wale ndio wakao wamelipwa mmoja akavuangua akalivuangua akanilala paka kamaliza kwa pili akalivua tena kwa kalala paka kamaliza nikajikojolea nasikia maumivu baada ya vijana wanaochukua video ni baada ya vijana kutoka kisauni Apos Apos Are they top secret? Have you give your evidence? Yes, sir. Yeah, in support of the application. Yes, sir. Get before. Yeah. What will lead you? Based on your fictitious fears? They're not fictitious fears, no. And supported by any evidence? Then can you place something cogent before the vocal eyes? <laughs> 